Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. Today is the centenary of the birth of Norman Mailer, who was one of America's most distinguished novelists, filmmakers, journalists. He won two Pulitzer Prizes, wrote a novel in each of the seven decades after the Second War, uh, and was very influential in literary circles. The trouble uh, for me about him is that he was uh, um, a misogynist and a homophobe of the highest order. One of his books, uh, American Dream, uh, centres around uh, uh, the main character who murders his wife and rapes the, uh, the house servant. And, uh, and this, these actions are portrayed as being uh, contributory to enabling the main character to be a man. This is what somehow masculinity was and how you, how you found it was by engaging in these kind of violent and, and uh, horrific uh, attitudes towards women. Uh, and and gay, gay people were e e equally uh, attacked because he saw America as going through a process of womanization. He was af deeply afraid of, of what would happen to uh, American culture if women became any more influential. And he thought that gay people were simply um, latching onto this bandwagon and that's why they were uh, coming out as, as gay. He was on the wrong side of, the, of, of history. Um, he, there was a, a famous debate in, in which Jermaine Greer was one of the main protagonists in the, it called the Town Hall Debate uh, in 1971, um, where he began to be shown up for, 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 for the um, uh, awful attitudes that he had. And it was just two years later uh, that the Roe versus Wade judgment came down, which gave women a, a new freedom and, and, and became a landmark of, their, of, their, of, the, of the progress of feminism. But uh, on the wrong side of history or not, he still had an, an extraordinary history and one of the deep sadnesses is that that attitude to women um, is still found in men uh, buried it, there may be must be something in the male psyche that that, that makes that kind of attitude appealing uh, maybe it is a fear of, of women like like um, a normal male had but whatever it is it, it can lead to the most terrific uh, um, murders and, and, and rapes and, and domestic abuse and um, well today I mean I don't particularly I, I've got mixed feelings about the sort of tendency these days for everyone to want to apologize for um, historical cultural things that they really had nothing to do with but I, I can't help wanting to say uh, today uh, as as a man, uh, how deeply sorry I am to women for the way in which uh, men have treated women um, down the centuries. Not not all men, thank God, um, and and and, and uh, hopefully less men as time goes on. But it's uh, it's a, an appalling part of the of the of the gender relationships that this this still continues. Um, but let's. Let's, while um, abhorring it and um, perhaps not wanting to celebrate Norman Mailer's contribution to literature, though perhaps it's important to mark it just, to, just today to share in the sadness that we feel that this so often can blight um, what should be really lovely human relationships between men and women.